Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kandan, Professor Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Amal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koil Vanni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture on Gate Question Paper Solution and Discussion. And this is lecture number 47 on Gate Question Paper Solution. The subject is Fluid Kinematic Part 2. So, in the earlier lecture also, we discussed few questions on fluid kinematics from various gate question paper. We continue with the topic. The next question from 2016 question paper, a channel of width 450 mm branches into sub channels having width 300 mm and 200 mm as shown in the figure. If the volumetric flow rate taking any depth of an incompressible flow through the main channel is 0 0.9 meter cube per second. And the velocity in the subchannels of the width 200 millimeter is 3 meters per second. The velocity in the subchannel of width 300 millimeter is dash. Assume both the inlet and the outlet to be at the same elevation. So this is the diagrammatic representation of the prob problem. You have a main channel of width 400 millimeter, 400 millimeter unit width, unit depth. The flow rate here in the main pipeline is 0 0.9 meter cube per second. It branch out into two. One is with uh, width 300 millimeter and another one is with width 200 millimeter with a velocity 3 meters per second. We have to calculate the velocity in the top section. So, the discharge Q1. So, we take this is section 1 and this is section 2 and this is section 3. Q1 equal to Q2 plus Q3. So, Q1 equal to A2 V2 plus A3 V3 for incompressible fluid. So, substituting the given values 0 0.9 Q1 equal to 0 0.9 equal to A2 is 0.2 into the width unit depth. Uh, the depth is 1 meter. So, 0.2 into 1 into velocity is 3 meters per second plus 0.3 into 1 into V3. So, solving the equation velocity V3 equal to 1 meters per second. So, the answer is 1 meters per second. Next question again from 2016 question paper. For a certain two dimensional incompressible flow, velocity field is given by 2xy i vector minus y square j vector. The streamline of this flow are given by the family of curves. So, the options are a x square y square equal to constant, b x y square equal to constant, c 2xy minus y square equal to constant and d xy equal to constant. The answer is x y square equal to constant. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, we are given the velocity vector 2xy i vector minus y square j vector. So, we have u equal to 2xy and v equal to minus y square. The equation for the streamline dx by u equal to dy by v. So, substituting for u and v dx by 2xy equal to dy by minus y square. So, 1 y is getting cancelled. So, it will be integral dx by 2x minus integral dy by y. So, integrating dx by x equal to minus 2 times of dy by y. So, logarithmic of x equal to minus 2 logarithmic of y plus constant. So, rearranging and simplifying the answer is x y square equal to a constant. That is the answer to the question. The next question from 2017 question paper, consider a two dimensional velocity field given by V vector equal to 5 plus A 1 x plus B 1 y i vector plus 4 plus A 2 x plus B 2 y j vector where A 1, A 1, B 1, A 2, B 2 are constants. Which one of the following condition need to be satisfied for the flow to be incompressible? So, the there are four options a1 plus b1 equal to 0, a1 plus b2 equal to 0, a2 plus b2 equal to 0, a2 plus b1 equal to 0. The correct answer is a1 plus b2 equal to 0. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, the velocity vector is given as 5 plus a1 x plus b1 y i vector plus 4 plus a2 x plus b2 y j vector. Here, u equal to 5 plus a1 x plus b1 y and v equal to 4 plus a 2 x plus b 2 y. Dou u by dou x differentiating dou u by dou x equal to a 1 and dou v by dou y equal to b 2. 
So for incompressible flow, dou e by dou x plus dou v by dou y equal to zero. For two-dimensional incompressible flow, so substituting a1 plus b2 equal to zero, this is the answer to the problem. Next question from 2018 question paper. For a two-dimensional incompressible flow field given by u vector equal to a into x i minus y j, where a is greater than zero, which one of the following statement is false? We have four statement. Which one is false? One, it satisfies the continuity equation. B, it is unidirectional when x equal x tends to zero and y tends to infinity. It is streamlined. Its streamlined are given by x equal to y. It is irrotational. So we will see one by one. The correct answer is the false statement is its streamlined are given by x equal to y. So we will see how. So from the given velocity vector u equal to a x and v equal to minus a y. So the continuity equation dou e by dou x plus dou v by dou y equal to a minus a equal to zero. So the continuity equation is satisfied. So this equation is true. The given flow field is unidirectional when x tends to zero and y tends to infinity. That is also correct. The equation is streamlined. We have to calculate the equation of the streamlined. So dou dx by u equal to dy by v. dx by a x equal to minus dy by a y. Integrating. So dx by x equal to dy by v integrating log x log x plus log y equal to zero x y equal to zero. Whereas it is given in the equation, it is given as x equal to y, so which is false. So this is not satisfied. The streamlined equation is not satisfied. It is not correct. So option C is not correct. We will check off option B for irrotational flow dou v by dou x plus dou u by dou y equal to zero. So it is also satisfying the condition. It is also correct. So the the false statement is option C. The next question again from 2018 question paper. A flat plate of which L equal to one meter is pushed down with a velocity u equal to 0.01 meters per second towards a wall, resulting in the drainage of the fluid between the plate and the wall as shown in the figure. Assume two dimensional incompressible flow. And that the plate remains parallel to the wall. The average velocity u average of the fluid in meters per second draining out at a con at the constant at the instant is shown in the figure is dash. So correct to three decimal places. So this is the plate which is pushed down with a velocity u, and the because because of the force, the fluids are fluid between the plate and the wall is moving in both direction. It is it is draining with the average velocity u average. And the depth equal to 0.1 meter. So the answer is 0.05 meters per second. So we will see how in the next slide. So this is again the diagrammatic representation of the problem. Volume swept by the plate per unit time that is equal to discharge going out or draining drainage of drainage from the two sides. So volume equal to u into l into w. So u is the velocity of the plate, l into w is the area. Is equal to two times of u average into depth into width. So width you take one meter width is getting cancelled. So two it is there are the fluid is leaking on both side. We have two here u average into d into w. So simplifying u into l equal to two into u average into d. Substituting the parameter l equal to one meter zero point zero one into one equal to two into u average into zero point one. So the average velocity is zero point zero five g. 50 meters per second. Next question from 2019 question paper: Water flows through a pipe with a velocity is given by v equal to 4 by t plus x plus y j vector in meters per second, where j is the unit vector in the y direction and t is greater than zero is in seconds. X and y are in meters. The magnitude of total acceleration at the point x y, which is equal to 1 comma 1. At a time t equal to two second is dash meters per second square. So the answer is three meters per second square. So we will see how in the next slide. So we are given v equal to four by t plus x x plus y into actually j vector. So u equal to zero, v equal to four by t plus x plus y, and w equal to zero. So the acceleration in the x direction is zero because there is no u term. In z direction is also zero because there is no w term. So the acceleration in the y direction, 
dou v by dou t plus u into dou v by dou x plus v into dou v by dou y plus w into dou v by dou z. So, there is no uh, z term. So, dou, dou v by dou z equal to 0. So, dou v by dou t plus u into dou v by dou x plus v into dou v by dou x. So, differentiating with respect to t, it is minus 4 by t square plus with res u into differentiating with respect to x, it is 1. So, 4 by t plus x plus y into 1 plus 1. So, a y equal to x plus y minus 4 t square plus 4 by t. Substituting x equal to 1, y equal to 1 and t equal to 2. So, 1 plus 1 minus 4 by 2 square plus 4 by 2 equal to 3. This is the answer for the problem. So, a equal to square root of a x square plus a y square plus a z square. So, substituting a x equal to 0, a y a z equal to 0, 3 square, square root of 3 square equal to 3 meters per second. This is the answer to the problem. Next question from 1988 question paper. A Newtonian fluid has the following velocity field. V vector equal to x square y i vector plus 2 x y square z j vector minus y z cube k vector. Rate of shear deformation epsilon y z at a point x equal to minus 2, y equal to 1 and z equal to 2 for a given flow is, there are 4 options here, minus 6, minus 2, minus 12 and 4. The correct answer is minus 12. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, the velocity field is given here, v vector equal to x square y i vector plus 2 x y square z j vector minus y z cube k vector. The component of velocity u equal to x square y, v equal to 2 x square x y square z and w equal to minus y z cube. The derivatives dou v by dou a z equal to minus 2 x y square, dou w by dou y equal to minus z cube. The rate of shear deformation at x equal to minus 2, y equal to minus 1 and z equal to 2. So, epsilon y z equal to dou v by dou z plus dou w by dou y which is 2 x y square minus z to the power 3. So, substituting for x y z. So, 2 into minus 2 into minus 1 whole square minus 2 into 2, 2 to the power 3. So, which is minus 4 minus 8 equal to minus 12 is the answer to the problem. The next question from 1989 question paper. The steam function in a two dimensional flow field is given by psi equal to x square minus y square. The magnitude of the velocity at the point 1 comma 1 is, there are 4 options, 2, 2 into square root of 2, 4 and 8. So, the correct answer is option B, 2 into square root of 2. We will see how in the next slide. So, given equation psi equal to x square minus y square, dou psi by dou y equal to minus u which is minus 2y. So, dou psi by dou y at 1 comma 1 equal to minus 2. Dou psi by dou x which is v equal to 2x. So, dou psi by dou x at 1 comma 1 equal to 2. So, the magnitude of the velocity at the point 1 comma 1, velocity equal to square root of u square plus v square which is square root of 2 square plus 2 square equal to 2 into square root of The next question from 1993 question paper, a velocity field is given as v vector equal to 3 x square y i vector minus 6 x y z k vector where x y z are in meter and v velocity v is in meters per second. Determine if it represents the incompressible flow. The flow is irrotational. The flow is steady. So, which are all the statements 1 and 3, 1 and 2. 2 and 3 and the 1 only. So, the correct answer is 1 and 3 are correct. So, we will see how. So, the given velocity vector is 3 x square y i vector minus 6 x y z k vector. Velocity components are u equal to 3 x square y and w equal to minus 6 y x y z. The flow is compressible if it satisfies the continuity equation. So, dou u by dou x plus dou v by dou y plus dou w by dou z equal to 0. There is no v term. So, dou by dou x of 3 x square y plus dou by dou z of minus 6 x y z equal to 0. So, differentiating 6 x y minus 6 x y equal to 0. So, the continuity equation is satisfied. So, 
this condition is satisfied and the flow is incompressible. If the flow is irrotational, the flow is irrotational if dou u by dou z equal to dou w by dou x. So, differentiating dou by dou z of u x 3 x square y equal to dou by dou x of minus 6 y z. So, differentiating left hand side equal to 0 because there is no z term left hand side equal to 0 and right hand side we have minus 6 y z. So, the condition is not satisfied. So, the flow is rotational, it is not irrotational, it is rotational flow and the vector, velocity vector then does not contain any time parameter, it does not contain any time parameter. So, you look at the velocity vector, there is no time parameter, the flow is steady and it represents the incompressible flow. So, the condition 2 is not satisfied, so the options are 1 and 3, they are correct. So, next question in the 1995 question paper. The velocity component in x and y directions are given by u equal to lambda x x y to the power 3 minus x square y and v equal to x y square minus 3 by 4 y to the power 4. The value of lambda for a possible flow field involving an incompressible fluid is, there are 4 options a minus 3 by 4, b minus 4 by 3 and 4 by 3 and 3. So, the correct answer is 3. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, the given velocity vector, so u equal to lambda x y q minus x square y and v equal to x y square minus 3 by 4 y to the power 4. For steady incompressible flow, the continuity equation must be satisfied. So, the continuity equation dou e by dou x plus dou v by dou y equal to 0, substituting dou by dou x of u lambda x y q minus x square y plus dou by dou y of x y square minus 3 by 4 y power 4 equal to 0. So, differentiating y lambda y to the power 3 minus 2 x y plus 2 x y minus 3 by 4, 4 y to the power 3 equal to 0. Simplifying, we have lambda y power 3 equal to 3 y power 3 equal to 0. So, lambda equal to 3. That is the correct answer to the problem. The next question from 2001 question paper. Yet the two dimensional flow with the velocity vector v equal to x plus 2y plus 2 into i vector plus 4 minus y j vector is compressible and irrotational, compressible and not irrotational, incompressible and irrotational, incompressible and not irrotational. So, the correct answer is incompressible and not irrotational. So, we will see how. So, the from the given velocity vector, u velocity, velocity vector u equal to x plus 2y plus z and v equal to 4 minus y. For compressible, incompressible flow, the continuity equation should be satisfied. So, dou u by dou x plus dou v by dou y equal to 0. So, dou by dou x of u vector x plus 2y plus 2 plus dou by dou y of v vector 4 minus y equal to 0. So, differentiating 1 minus 1 equal to 0. So, it is incompressible flow. So, the continuity equation is satisfied, then the flow is incompressible. The two dimensional, if the flow, two dimensional flow is ir irrotational, if dou v by dou x equal to dou u by dou y, so dou v by dou x equal to dou by dou x of 4 minus y, which is equal to dou by dou y of u vector x plus 2 y plus 2. So, left hand side it is 0, right hand side equal to 2. So, the condition is not satisfied and the flow is not irrotational. So, it is incompressible, not irrotational type of flow. So, we stop here. So, these are all the books I have written in mechanical engineering subject. So, there is one book of fluid mechanics and machinery. You can refer to it for theory part of fluid mechanics and I upload video lectures of all the subjects mentioned here in the YouTube channel. You subscribe the channel, listen to the video and understand the basic theory before solving the question paper, get question paper. So, thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. You can contact me for any clarification on the subject your queries will be sincerely answered. So, we will meet again with another video lecture in the fluid kinematics. Until then, bye.